come back, we want to work on the plan now. So we have drawn the giving view, which is the front elevation of the oblique cone, which is truncated as you can see on the screen. So we want to draw the plan now. So what I will do first, at this point, which is the midpoint of this line, 70 millimeters, I will draw a vertical center line of like this. Alright, then I will so move here, then I will draw a horizontal center line. Okay, so I need to connect these lines together. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do now, as we are told that the uh, the diameter of the circular base of the cone is 70 millimeters. So I will take a measurement of 35 millimeters, which is half of 70. So I already have 35 from year to year. So I just take that 35 from year to year. And from year to year is also 35. So I'll just take that 35. So bring it to this point, And I will draw a circle that will be faint because of something that I'm still going to explain. So I make it faint, so you may not see it clearly. Okay. Okay, I will leave it like this. So I believe you can see it. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. I will use my cell square to do that. Okay. So we are dividing the circle into 12 equal parts using the cell squares. Okay. Alright, so we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts. The next thing that I'm going to do now is to number this point on the circle. So I will call this point, I will call it point 0. This is 1, this is point 2, this is point 3, this is point 4, this is point 5, this is point 6, this is point 7. This is point 0.8, this is point 0.9, this is point 0.10, so this is 11. Okay, so now with what we have here, the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a vertical line on each of these points. So a vertical line on each of these points into the given uh, view of the truncated cone. So I will draw a line, so 1 and 11, they are the same point on the circumference of the circle. I will also draw a vertical line so to meet the base just to meet the base so we draw that of nine and then from eight and also we draw from seven and then we draw from six up here okay so now so i'm going to join each of these points so if i number this point this will be point zero so maybe i call it zero prime so this is one prime eleven prime this is 2 prime, 10 prime. Okay, so this is 3 prime, 9 prime to differentiate it from what we have here in the on this circle. And then here we have what we have 4 prime, 8 prime. And this is 5 prime, 7 prime. And then here we have what we have 6 prime here. Okay, so I will join each of these points so to the apex of the cone. So we need to do that of uh, 1 and 11, so I'll just draw like this to meet the apex of the cone. Then that of 2 and 10, so I will draw like this to meet the apex of the cone. Then that of 3 and 9 is a center line, so we draw it as a center line like this. So we will have that in the given view that we are, uh, the question that we are given. So I will also draw from 4, 8, 4 prime, 8 prime, and then from 5 prime, 7 prime, I will draw a line like this all right so with what i've done here so we are looking at this object down like this so how will the plan look this is not the complete plan so how will the plan how will it look if you are looking at this from the top down so what are we going to see as the plan of this oblique uh cone so this is what we are going to see so just look at what i'm going to do here we need to extend this line this horizontal center line so i will 
extend it so then the next thing that i'm going to do is that i need to extend this line because this is the apex of the cone so i just need to extend this line so i just need to extend it so to meet this line here so this is where we have the apex in the plan so we have the apex here in the plan so the next thing that i'm going to do is that i will draw i will draw line from each point that we have on this circle to join it with this point here as we have done here so what i mean is this so i will draw from from five let me start from the down here so i draw from five so and then i will draw a line from here join it with this point i will draw from four from four i will join it with this point so that is the apex in the plan i will draw from three i will draw from three so draw from three so i will join it with this point so that of three it it intersect one so i don't have to draw from one again so that has already been drawn so the line that will draw drew from three has taken over that so then i will draw from two like this then the next one is i will draw from seven we have drawn that of six already it's a horizontal line so it's on it that we locate the apex of the oblique cone in the plan so i will draw from here so meeting the apex and i will draw from eight that is from seven so i will draw from eight here so meeting the apex in the plan then i will draw from nine so that of nine also we also intersect 11 that we have here so by the time i draw from here so intersect 11 so i don't have to draw for 11 again then i will also draw from 10 like this okay so those points have been obtained so we are not done with the plan because this plan is not complete yet so now so this part is cut off and we are looking at this the remaining part we are looking at or the frustum of the oblique cone we are looking at it downward like this so we are going to see a rough surface here we are going to see a rough surface around here so how can we get that rough surface in the plan here okay to get the rough surface what we are going to do is this so wherever the cutting plane touch these lines we are going to draw a vertical line down so if I draw, this is zero now. So if I draw a vertical line from zero, I will draw a vertical line from zero here. And it will meet line zero. So wherever they intersect, so I will put a, I will note it with a dot like this. Then I move to one and 11. So I will draw a vertical line down. Then where do we have line one? Where do we have line 11? So we have line one. This is line one here. This is line one, and here we have line eleven. So you need to, uh, you need to uh, pay attention. So you need to look at it very well. So that is point eleven. Then for for two ten now, I will draw a vertical line from here. So draw a vertical line from here. Okay. So it intersects two at this point. It intersects to at this point and it intersects 10 at this point so those points we need to note them and that is what i'm doing so for three and nine so i need to okay i need to get that point very well okay so for three and nine now so i will draw a vertical line i will draw a vertical line from these points from this point here i will draw a vertical line that is the center line that's where we have three and nine so i will draw a vertical line down like this so it intersects three at this point just look at where the lines intersect so this is line three so with that vertical line they intersect here and for nine so they intersect at this point here intersect at this point so you can see the way i'm getting is very simple so then for eight for four and eight so for four and eight so i will also draw a vertical line from here so draw a vertical line down okay so where do we have line four so this is line four so the intersect at this point and for eight the intersect at this point all right so the next is we have five and seven so i will draw a vertical line from here down so it intersects so five at this point so this is five 
and this is this is seven so this is seven so we have seven here okay so this is five and this is seven then the last one is six so i will draw a vertical line down like this so it intersects six at this point all right so those are the points that we are going to join together for us to obtain the roughness the surface that is rough on that truncated uh, oblique cone so what i'm going to do now is to use my french curve to join those points together and this is it okay so we need to take it easy so that we can get the curve out okay Um, something is wrong with my seeds. I think the T square gave me something. Oh, I can see it now. So the T square. So it's not straight enough. So, alright. So I've gotten the point. So this is the point here. So this is the point that I'm going to use. So we need to. So that's why I usually ask that we should. We need to pay attention to our, our T square. So that essentially when it's come to cough work like this all right so then okay All right, so we are moving little by little. All right, so that is what we have. So to show the roughness of this part, so I will just use my 45 degrees L square to draw uh, action lines. So that's what I'm doing now. All right. So then I will join this point i join together with this point then i will also join this together with a thick line from year to year all right so then i can now make the circle i can make it thick now so that it will have the same thickness as that line so around this part so we draw with short dashes line so you may not see it okay because when we are looking at the oblique cone down so this part the curve that we have on the circle around this part will be hidden from us so that's why we didn't make this to be thick as we have here so this is how the plan we looks as simple as i've shown it here let's meet on the next question that is on the surface development thank you